Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here playing Ultimate General Civil War. We are into the Maryland campaign playing as the Union. Uh, we just got done with the um, Second Manassas campaign. We did pretty good at the Battle of Second Bull Run. Um, we didn't get clobbered like we usually do. Second Corps has a bit of rebuilding to do, but our main core is pretty much intact, and uh, I don't even think Third Corps participated. So let's get to the rebuilding process here. Um, this is an ongoing series, so if you are new here, thank you for joining me. Um, if you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button, you won't miss anything. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, thank you, thank you very much for uh, sticking with me through this. So let's get the uh, units back up to 1800. I'm going to leave it at 1800 for now. Bigger before um, before the big battle at the end of this campaign, which is Antietam, will um, bring them up to 2000. But for now, 1800 is a pretty good place to be. Okay. So far we haven't had to um spend any money on veterans because all their levels are at a pretty good spot where we don't have to um, bring the veterans in to uh, offset losing anything. All right, now got a promotion to hand out. Okay, we'll go with that. This one's going to need veterans. See what we can get up to. Can we get up to 1400? Okay, we'll go 1400 yeah. here. And the rest will be veterans. Okay with that. Got a bit of money to work with, so. Okay. Now, something, an idea I've been toying around with is. Having a kind of a a shock troop or a shock brigade, and then um, giving them good melee weapons. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but um, just an idea I've been toying around with. If you'd um, if you'd played using that strategy, uh, let me know your success or whatnot, and I'll use uh, use that to base off uh, what I do going forward. All right, so now we do want to okay, we got a Mr. McClellan here is going to be in charge of first division. Yes, sir. Okay. Actually, Mr. McClellan should be in charge of a, a core. Well, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Major General Brewster, you're going to take 3rd Division. Okay, Minty's done pretty good with us, but we need, uh, really need, okay, second division needs a commander, keys, Okay. 
with them. The brigade is yours. These guys definitely took a hit. How far up we can get before they will go to 1400 on them. 1500 actually. The rest veterans. Fifty, hundred and fifty veterans. Oops. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sixteen hundred with you as well. Excuse me. Yeah, we're going to have to spend some money on this unit. Yes, sir. All right, they're fine. We can create one more. Hmm, what do I want to do? I do a unit 500 skirmishers there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the skirmishers. You can always just detach them from my uh, from my infantry. A palmettos, CMGs. Don't have any of those. Okay, we'll go with Lorenzo's for you. Okay, so we are full on first core, full on second core. Mm. 
Hmm. I want to spend the money. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. A little snow. Start out fifteen hundred with this uh, core. Oh, hang on, Abe Wyatt. Great. Dogs like to bark at the wind and everything else. Yes, sir. Um, we don't really have enough to throw into another division, so I'm gonna bring these guys up to 1800 should be able to bring them all up to 1800 Additional 5,000 for 22, but I think I'm going to leave that alone for now. We could get George Mead and Ambrose Burnside. They could come in very handy. Okay, I think that's where we're going to leave it for now. Everything has looked pretty good. We'll bring these guys up to uh, full supply. Just dump everything into them. And that's going to do it for the rebuilding phase. Now on to the battle. Okay. The fighter is complaining about us winning. The complaining about them losing and making plans to reinforce themselves. All right, so we've got Crampton's Gap, which is the 14th of September. Also on the 14th of September is South Mountain. Followed by Antietam. Let's start with Crampton's Gap. The rebels have decided for the first time to invade into northern soil. We have split his forces in an attempt to secure a supply line at Maryland. Jackson, with the left wing of the rebel army, is attacking Harper's Ferry, a strategic town with an arsenal. You need to drive a part of your army through Crampton's Gap to break the siege. The rest of your army must check the right wing of the rebel army spotted at Boonesboro. Okay, so that one, the Lee has entered into Maryland Northern. First time has dispatched Longstreet with his right wing at 
Boonesboro. Hmm. All right. Crampton's Gap it is. Okay, so we are up against 8,821 soldiers and 20 guns. We can only bring nine brigades to bear. Uh, we'll bring first corps in. One corps, three division, 17 brigades, 22,686 soldiers and 36 guns. So it's almost three to one in our favor. General, our scouts report that a small Confederate force is guarding the gap. We must attack and secure the passage. Most of our forces are half an hour behind, but the garrison of Harper's Ferry will soon run out of time. We need to move fast, else the town will fall to rebel hands. Oh, we're right here. Lined up on the road. Nice, neat line. Alright, so... This is not a very big map at all. Any mercy. We don't have any artillery on the field at present. Shavery come up in the rear. Start the battle, pause, detach our skirmishers. And then um, out and around Loomis. Do the same. Leonard, detach your skirmishers. And them up over here. All right, let's see what we can do with that. Take an artillery fire. Dusty Cheddar Ranch, Cheese It Grooves. Bring you up into here, bring you up into here, just get you out of the open. Very zesty indeed. All right, we got the enemy sighted. They are right in the open. Skirmishers move in on them. Pretty good defensive lineup right here. They've got a ton of artillery. No, we're not going to break you off from there. We're just going to have you uh, route and run. Sounds like a good plan. Right. Want you to come attack through the woods. Cover. 
Okay. Mercy's getting pushed back. Alright, I want you to attack the unit in the open. Skirmishers are going to come up and do the same. Leonard skirmishers in. Shaver. Have you come in on attack on their flank? Not gonna. Not gonna lie, I'm not too happy about them being wide out in the open like that, but. They've managed to position themselves very nicely. Good, the rest of our forces are here. Let's pause real quick. Figure out where we want these guys. Okay, you come up here. Double quick. Minty, I'm going to have you Oh, what do I want to do with Minty here? Minty, we're going to detach some skirmishers have them come around here Arthur Skirmishers, have them, oops, have them come around here, Walton, I have you come up into this position right here, as fast as you can, we're going to bring you right up the middle, Minty, Minty Skirmishers, I think. We'll bring you up this way. Actually, we're going to change that and have you come over here as well. Quick. All right, looks good so far. Okay, we got some units routing. We got some of our own units routing. are coming around the outside, you're going to join them. Hey Loomis, I'm going to bring you around this way. here. Got some pretty good cover there. Shaver, I want you to come up this way.
<laughs> Alright, some unexpected units over here. And ascending our skirmishers packing. This way. on the side. This we need to push you up a little bit more. It'll go closer to him. Alright, where's my general at? Where did my general go? Mercy's breaking. Come on. Mercy. Alright, they are running out of ammo, so... Hey, Andrews, you focus on here. Hey, they are routing.
holding pretty good for not having a whole lot of ammo. George McClellan's wounded. start moving in on this position here. Okay. I get our skirmishers up here to do something with them. Mercy's way in the back again. about to get hit by a whole lot of youth force. Okay, move up. Hope you gotta move up. Move up. Move up. Everybody move into position. them out. Okay, Leonard and Shaver, you're going to hold them in position over there. Both their skirmishers are doing what I need them to do right there. Let's get up there. starting to waver. Double click, everybody. Run, run. Oh, so close, so close. Contested. 
and we have to hold it for 30 minutes. That was close. I wonder what happens if I finish. I got it. Yes, victory at Crampton's Gap. It was close. It was real close. I almost didn't get it before the uh, timer ran out. But right at the last second, we took it. So, out of our 14,400, we had 5,199 casualties. We lost no guns. They lost 11 guns and about a fourth of their force. Okay. The McClellan was wounded. Poor guy. Uh, we captured a lot of pattern 1853 Enfields. Well, that's good. Go us. Crampton's Gap is ours. We get one career point, $136,100 and 8600 uh, new units, plus four on the reputation. So there's that. I'm replace Mr. McClellan. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, that's something I'm going to have to take a look at for sure. I may have to pull a general out of one of these uh, brigades. Gonna assign the career point now. Um, e medicine, logistics, reconnaissance, army organization. And okay, we'll go with uh, politics. All right, we got a little bit of rebuilding to do before the, uh, the next battle, but I'm going to save that for the next episode, which is going to be South Mountain. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you got any advice or tips, leave them in the uh, comment section down below. And we will see you back here at South Mountain. J76NY saying once again, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.